Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a part, a three-dimensional part in Design Spark mechanical when you don't have a drawing. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up Design Spark. We're going to go to File New, New Design, and then we'll change this to the flat view. Okay, so what I wanted to uh, go over in this tutorial is uh, if you want to create a part in, uh, say, Design Spark Mechanical, but you don't have a drawing, but you have an idea what the part is, um, we're going to go ahead and get the drawing. So since um, Design Spark has done, since Design Spark version six has done away with the uh, import options that it used to have, so you used to be able to go to File, and you could go ahead and change the types here. You were able to import. I think it was. Um, uh, step files, you were able to import DWGs, DXF files, you can't do that anymore. So one of the options that they did not do away with is the the BMP, the, the GIF, the JPEG. So we're going to go ahead and get a drawing and then we're going to convert it to JPEG. So to do that, if you have an idea what kind of part you want to do, um, I, I do here. We're going to go to this website called McMaster Car. And we're going to get this drawing here. So this is the sensor and switch mounting bracket. So we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to copy that. So, but if you don't know, uh, if you know the part that you want, uh, we're good. You're just going to, I'm going to show you how to search for it. So we're going to go uh, to McMaster car. So we'll just go ahead and open up a browser and we'll go to McMaster car. This is a, uh, a very big uh, manufacturing site. They sell all kinds of stuff. So we're going to go up here to the search and we're going to do a control V, paste that in. Sensor mounting bracket. So we're going to go ahead and click there. Um, then we're going to just grab one. Get this one, I guess. So uh, within um, McMaster Car, you have the option to actually get the drawing. So you could uh, figure out exactly what part you wanted. Say we wanted this bottom one here. You're going to go ahead and click this blue hyperlink here. And then when this little box opens up, you're going to change, you're going to change the uh, part up down over here on the drop down menu. You're going to change to 2D drawing. You want a 2D drawing, um, not the 3D. So we're going to go to download. And then when it's done downloading, you're going to hit that little folder up there. And we'll minimize this. And you're going to drag this over. Oh, something happened there. I got the DWG. I didn't want that. Let's go back. Um, yeah, I didn't want DWG. We want uh, PDF. Sorry about that. You want to, um, and also what I wanted to mention is, uh, is you want to make sure to get uh, uh, a file that you can actually open. Um, so if you don't have a CAD program, you're not going to be able to open up DXF. So you might want to just stick with the PDF. So go ahead and go to the PDF. Go to download. Then we're going to come over here to the folder. Click the folder. We'll minimize the window here. Now we're just going to drag this PDF over. And the reason why it's important to get a uh, file type that you can actually open up is because um, that's, that's what we're going to do. You have to open the file up. So we're going to go ahead and double click to open that. So you can see that we have the bracket here. Um, I really didn't want this one with the curved. Let's go back. I want to get another one. This I didn't want that one with the curved. So we'll just go ahead and delete that. We're going to go back to McMaster car. Should just still be in the search bar there. And then we're going to go ahead and paste in our uh, sensor mounting brackets. Let's just see what some of the other options are that they have. So you can pretty much find any drawing that you would want, you want to uh, go ahead and make, and you're going to be able to make it in uh, this one. Let's get this one right here. This is simple. And then we'll click there. Make sure that's 2D PDF. Hit download. And then we'll hit the folder there. We're going to minimize. And then we're going to drag this to the desktop. So yeah, so as long as you can open the, the, fold, the, the file type up, We'll go ahead and open this up. So um, 
So now what I want to do is since uh, Design Spark Mechanical version 6 uh, will let you bring in a JPEG, we're going to go ahead and create a JPEG. So to do that, we're going to, um, on your keyboard, we're going to hit the uh, Windows symbol, uh, Shift, and then S as in SAM all together. So all three keys together. And then I'm just going to take what what I need, and I don't need that bottom part, so I'm going to just omit that. So go ahead and let go there. It's going to take a snippet. Now to open up your paint, we're going to go to the start button, come over here to the search. If you don't already have it in here, it should be, if it's not in your uh, suggested file types, just type, or programs, just type in paint and then go to the paint app. Now we're going to click in the middle there and then do a control V as in Victor. And then we're going to go ahead and go crop it. Now we're going to do just the file save as, and we're going to save it as a JPEG. So go ahead and go to the desktop, and then you can just save it as untitled, hit save. Now we're going to go ahead and close this stuff. So now you have your drawing that you can use in uh, Design Spark Mechanical. So now what we want to do is go ahead and open up the program. We can minimize just by clicking this. Now what I normally do, if you have, um, if you uh, use two monitors, then the best way to do this is to open this up on your right side of the monitor and view it full size and just use it as a reference. If you don't have two monitors, just drag it in. And then you want to just put this up over in a corner and then you could start your drawing over here. So this is a... Um, so this is a really good way to uh, be able to draw a part if you know, kind of have an idea that you want um, this type of uh, this type of part, then you can just do a search for it. Find the one that you want and then you have the dimensions and you're able to recreate it. So we're going to go ahead and um, draw this now just to demonstrate. So we'll go... Um, this is in millimeters. A lot of times you're... Uh, McMaster car parts could either be in millimeter or they could be in inches. Uh, if you're, I usually only draw in millimeter. So if you're drawing in millimeter and the drawing is in inches, then you just go ahead and type in whatever um, the dimension is. If it's four inches, just type four and then next to it type IN and that will convert it. So then you don't have to keep changing it back and forth. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, 47 millimeters. So we're going to go ahead and draw this circle here. Just make sure your snap to grid is on. This part looks pretty big. Uh, do 47. Let me just move this over here. I guess this is 64. Yeah, 64 right here. Go ahead and draw this another circle in the middle here. Type in 64. Oops, undo that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to put a line in the middle here. Just from here to here. Okay, now I want that to be I think that says 30, let's, let's blow this up a little bit. To blow that up, just hold down, grab the corner there and just kind of drag it out a little bit. Hold down the shift key. 38.1, so we're going to do an offset right up here. Offset this down 38.1. Okay. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get our uh, line tool We'll go from that point to that point there. Then we'll go from end point to end point there. Okay. Now we have this part here. Now we want to go ahead and grab our trim away, which is up here. T. Get rid of these. Okay, so now we have this piece here. Now we want to, uh, let's go ahead and control plus, actually control plus on that. And then 
we want to go ahead and uh, pan this over. That is three millimeters thick. So we're going to go ahead and um, offset, go to the offset. And then we're going to click there and drag this up three millimeters, type in three. Do control minus. Okay, so now we have this stuff. Now we want to go ahead and pull this piece out here and pull this piece out. It's three millimeters. Okay, let's go to the 3D mode. Go ahead and um, this is going to be 30. Is that 38? I can't see. Let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it's 38 millimeters. So let's go ahead and go to the pull. Let's pull this, type 38. Okay, let's go ahead and spin that. All right, and now we're going to do this is three millimeters here. So we'll type, select that, type three. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the drawing. Don't think it tells us how round that corner has got to be, but we're going to go ahead and just. Uh, do a little fill it up, fill it on our own. So we'll go ahead and spin this. Let's go ahead and go to pull. There's a little fillet right there, but it doesn't indicate. So we'll go ahead and um, maybe four millimeters. Let's undo that. I'll type four, and then we'll do four here. I think four will be good. Then we'll go ahead and spin that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and do these, these little holes right here. So we're going to go ahead and um, control plus. Let's go ahead and pan down. I'm going to take a picture of this just so I'll have, I can look back on it. All right, so now we're going to control minus. Gonna go ahead and get rid of that drawing. Don't need it anymore. We're gonna spin this. Click there. And then we're gonna go to plan view. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a uh, a reference line right in the middle there. Okay. Now what we want to do is go ahead and. Uh, 38.1. So we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, Go to our calculator. We'll type in 38.1 divided by 2. So we're going to go 19.05. So we're going to do an offset. Offset that. Let's type 19.05. And then we're going to do the same here. 19.05. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at that drawing again. All right, let's go to the drawing. And then now we're going to go 14.5 millimeters up from the top, from the bottom. So let's go ahead and go to the offset. Fourteen point five. Okay, now this is put in our holes there. These are ten millimeter M tens. And then we'll ten millimeters for both of these. Now we can get uh, get rid of these. Now if you had constraint based drawing tools uh, activated. So be, you wouldn't have to do these, put these lines here. You could just throw a circle out there and you could say, you know, you wanted it to be 14.5 from the bottom and X amount of space over. All right, so this is going to be our drawing here. It's a real quick basic drawing, but 
I just wanted to be able to get this part off of McMaster car. That was what the main tutorial was about. It's just showing you how to uh, how to grab a drawing if you don't have a drawing, but you know you want a part like this. Um, that's all you really have to do. Is just um, go to McMaster Car, uh, do put in the search, and you could do a search for anything. If you wanted to create a funnel, an, um, an oil funnel, you could go ahead and type that in. I'll go ahead and show you. We'll go back to McMaster Car. Um, so whatever you decide you want to draw, just go to McMaster Car and then type in oil funnel. I don't see it. I think it's called an oil funnel. Or oil. Oh, I don't see it. All right, well, you pretty much type in what you want, and then either they'll have it or they won't have it. But most of the stuff they have, like they have brackets, um, they have uh, all this stuff here. Um, thought those were just called a funnel. Oh, here, there, there. Funnels. So go ahead and go here. So yeah, so basically you could get one of these, uh, like if you wanted this one, or just say this one here. And then you could pick your the capacity and then just click on it. 2D PDF download. Open the folder up. Minimize. Uh, minimize this. Go ahead and drag that over. And then you want to open up. Now you have this here, and to take a capture of it, do your um, Windows symbol on your keyboard, Shift plus S at the same time, S and Sam, S's and Sam. Then you're going to go ahead and drag a marquee around the area that you want. It's going to take a snippet. Then you're going to go up here in your search. You're going to find your paint. You're going to click once, then do a control V, V is in Victor. Then you're going to crop it, hit the crop button, and you're going to come over here and do a save as. Save it at the desktop. Then uh, we'll just change this to Untitled 2. Make sure it's a JPEG. Save. Close that. Close that. Go to your uh, Design Spark Mechanical. Let's do a control minus. All right, now that we have this uh, this part done, let's go ahead and go to the top mode. Control minus, control minus. Go ahead and go to file. Go to your desktop. Click here, all files. Then we're going to open up, bring in the... Uh, bring in our... Um, or funnel drawing. And then from here you can scale it up if you want. You just click on the corner point and hold down the shift key. And now we can draw this. And then when you're done with the with the drawing, this way you have dimensions to an actual funnel. Uh, you have um, all the stuff that you would need. So um, then you could either uh, open it from here, your uh, file, or you can just click and drag it in like this. Get rid of it, you just hit delete. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got some useful tips out of the video. Okay, thanks again for watching.